start, I want to bring up the source coordinates one, two, three, four, and where we want them to be registered, moved, and rotated to, which will be 101, 102, 103, 104, located in these locations. So our point cloud is displaced at this point, and we need to move it to the world coordinates here. Uh, so this will be our source data, and this will be our destination data. So <clears throat> let's minimize this and go ahead and start Point Cloud Manager. We're going to go to Open and here is the Point Cloud file and let's uh, scroll down and load up this Point Cloud right here and Now, what I want to do is bring in the destination points here under process data. So I'm going to do import and we're going to go to browse, pick here, go to data, points, and we're going to pick the source data and I'm going to pick OK. And right now it says set the presets. Now I can go up here and I can pick name, but I've already done this. So I'll just come up here and pick it. Pick OK. So it's name, easting, northing, elevation, and description. I'll pick that. Successfully loaded those four points. Now if I want to view those four points in this point cloud view, I can do append, pick the second view there, and you can see that's where they are located right there. They're located at the four corners of that building. But it just so happens that these four points are not lining up properly here. If I minimize this, you can see these four points are located here, but the building is over here. So what I want to do is now go to instrument control data and bring in the destination. So I go to import and we're going to go back to browse, go to data, points, and pick destination. And or we'll pick OK. That's 101 to 104. And again, we have preset information. Point name, easting northing elevation and description and we just pick OK pick OK and that brought in those four now if we want to take a look to see where these four are we can go to append pick this same uh, cloud right there and pick OK and of course we have to load it right now I'll just pick this guy right there and that uh, so these four points will be registered and this whole point cloud will be registered to move to this location. So with that done I'm going to close that and we're going to go up to the cloud 2 right here and come down to register and that's the cloud I'm going to make a new cloud called cloud 2 registered 1 and it will match the coordinate points which are these four points there uh, to the control points which will be located over here and we have maximum error allowed minimum reference three points we have four points we're doing this and we're not going to allow scaling so we're just going to let it move and rotate so we pick this guy here and now it's beginning to do the transformation of the cloud data And I'm going to pause it while it continues this transformation. And now it's transforming 
cloud data and I'm going to pause it again while it's doing this process. It's moving all 68 some million points so that the X, Y, and Z are all moved and rotated and the RGB red, green, blue color and intensity are both retained as it moves all these points to the new point cloud registered position. Okay, <clears throat> you can see that it has transformed or registered this Cloud 2, renamed it to Cloud 2 Registered 1, and we have moved the cloud from this location to this location. To prove that, if we bring in points 101 to 104 in this registered cloud, you can see it has no scene for it, so we're going to double pick or hit the right key and pick view and it's going to create a new scene and now we want to see well let's go to edit these points and make sure it's 101 to 104 those are the destination points so if I come up here and I do view and I pick append and pick that view to append pick OK and there they are they're right where they're supposed to be so <clears throat> at this point let's go ahead and save this registered cloud now that is in our state plane coordinate system uh, within our control and we are now ready to map in this file